Welcome to the Minute of Strength. One of the questions that we get quite a bit of, actually testimony, is on how outlaw swings and vintage progressions have helped with carpal tunnel quite a bit, to the point that many of our clients and many of our, our, our clients online have avoided carpal tunnel surgery. And here's how it works. You grab an outlaw rope, tie it through the handle of a kettlebell, if you know how to do kettlebell swings, and if you don't, I'll give you the alternative in a second. Choke up on the rope so it doesn't hit, the bell doesn't hit the floor when you do your swing, start behind you. I'm actually using an outlaw, one, outlaw 120, which is a little long for this, but we'll make it work. Just stand up into the swing, drag those hips back. And what, really, what this is requiring me to do, not only swing properly, but keep a nice strong connection and my grip, my wrist, tie right into my core. So I start to build strength in my hands and my forearm to avoid some of the overuse injuries that we, that we all acquire. So we've had a lot of success with outlaw swings. Now let's say you, you're, not, you're not ready for kettlebell training. The kettlebell swing is just too dynamic for your, your lower back. Here's an alternative. Jake and Eddie are going to show you a vintage swing with, now these, these particular dumbbells, these work well because they have a, a little over a two inch grip. So guys, show them what these swings look like. One shot right overhead, bring it to the shoulder, bring it right back through the legs, and drive right up overhead. Nice job. One more time. And drive it up. Beautiful. So the benefit that they're getting, thanks guys. So the benefit that you're getting here is you're hanging onto that bell same type of idea of hanging onto this rope, weights projecting out in front of you, being driven through the hips, so it's requiring you to hang onto that and tie those muscles in concert, right? So those are two simple exercises. A third that's a little bit more dynamic once you start to get that strength back. Guys, come over to the ropes. Grab a rope right below the end cap, nice and tight. We're gonna make figure eights, real small figure eights, but it's coming through the wrist and the hip, not static through the arms. So we're just gonna flow from side to side, put some slack in the rope by walking forward, put a little music on it, get a little swag going, but it's all done through the wrist. If these guys get a close-up shot and see this, it's really being generated through my wrist. I switch hands. Fantastic movement, and I actually broke this wrist at one point. This has just been fantastic to just break up some of that scar tissue and some of the arthritis that built up around the bone. So give these exercises a shot. Super successful. If you're not ready for the outlaw swing, vintage swing is, a, is actually, for me, a bigger bang for your buck because there's zero risk of injury with a thick grip. It's phenomenal work. Rope's going wild with some figure eights. Just get that wrist flowing again, and success. Guys, thank you. Thank Eddie. Thank Jake. See you next week on A Minute Strength.